Hello, this is saxophonist Greg Fishman, and welcome to the Greg Fishman Jazz Studios Facebook user group. This is our second month, and this month we've been working on the Waveland Avenue Etude from Jazz Saxophone Etudes Volume 1. I'm just going to play the piece down just so you can kind of check out the articulation and just kind of get a feel for how I'm doing it. One, two, uh, uh, uh. articulation. This is the idea of tonguing the upbeat and slurring into the downbeat and this is pretty much what I'm using not a hundred percent of the time because sometimes I do like to tongue a downbeat but most of the time when I have moving eighth notes this is what I use. So this phrase from the etude someone posted a video where they were doing this and that disrupts the phrase. Did you hear that that D on that E flat major seven measure? If I remember correctly, this is measures 13 through 15 of the piece, and in that 15th measure with the E flat major 7, listen to the effect it has. It throws everything off if you're going to do that. Listen to how it is if I if I maintain tonguing the upbeats. See, because when you tongue that D, if you miss the next note, if you miss the F, that's a really important note that needs to be tongued. So, practice doing it like that, even if you have to slow it down like that, just to get the feel for it. Now, one kind of funny thing I did when I was a kid to practice this, I would sometimes do this game where I would say, okay, I'm just going to do 100% wrong. I'm going to do the opposite of what I want. So I'm going to tongue all the downbeats, not the upbeats, just so my ear can really hear a clear difference between the right way and the wrong way. Okay, so... Let's see, it's going to be like this. It feels so strange to play it like that, but that's tonguing the downbeats. And now we're going to do it again, I'm going to tongue the upbeats. Notice how much more easily it flows when I tongue the upbeats. Of course, it was designed to be played like that. Downbeats again, here they are. So, this is really good if, if people are having trouble getting the feeling of what it's like to tongue the upbeats, you tongue all the downbeats so you can feel that and then you just feel what it's like to do the reverse, okay? This is sort of the equivalent of going into like, like a really cold swimming pool and then a really hot swimming pool and that this middle ground where it's sort of part, you know, in between. This really, you know, it's kind of like a hot and cold type of difference you know, to approach practicing it like this, but I think it's really effective, okay? So what I'd like you to do this week, you can pick any stream of eighth notes, anything where you have continuous eighth notes for maybe two measures to four measures. Practice it both ways, and ultimately you're going to want the one that is where you're tonguing the upbeats, but if you want to customize it once you can do that, that's cool. You can go... Sort of like a Sonny Rollins type of approach, okay? Or if you want it really smooth, you can do that too. So, you know, it's open to interpretation. All I'm saying is first get it with the basic mainstream tonguing and then you can experiment and add um, a little bit more aggressive uh, tonguing style if you like, okay?